we will see bond formation by sp3 hybridized carbon atom simplest molecule methane in this carbon is bonded to four hydrogen atoms this will go under this will undergo sp3 hybridization forming four sp3 hybridized orbital having one electron each it will combine with four hydrogen atoms by sp3 s overlap forming four sigma ch bonds four sigma ch bonds the distance between carbon and hydrogen known as bond length is 1.09 angstrom units if this can be represented as this four sigma bonds 1.09 angstrom units another case say ethane sp3 hybridized because it attached to four four atoms three hydrogen one carbon this carbon again three hydrogen atoms and one carbon both sp3 hybridized and the hydrogen atom sp3 hybridized here sp3 sp3 overlap takes place forming sigma cc bond its bond length is 1.54 angstrom units three hydrogen atoms overlapping This is representation for ethane molecule. So CS3Cl. Here, this sp3 hybridized carbon will provide one sp3 and chlorine atom will provide its p orbital having one electron and this sp3 p overlap will form. CCL bond. So, this is this is single bond formation by carbon atoms. Let us see now sp2 hybridization. as the name suggests 1 s and 2 p blending of the orbitals 
these three orbitals will form three new orbitals known as sp2 hybrid orbitals sp2 hybridization the newly formed three sp2 hybrid orbitals are in one plane directed to each other at an angle of 120 degree this is the shape with a small cusp with each, each having one electron. The unused Pz orbital stands perpendicular to this plane. This also has one electron. This is now ready for bond formation. Simplest case is ethylene, CS2 double bond, CS2, sp2 hybridized, sp2 hybridized. When this comes in close proximity with another comma atom, similarly. SP2 hybridized here SP2 SP2 orbital overlap takes place with the positive spins of electrons SP2 SP2 overlap forming a C C sigma bond. These four sp2 orbitals overlap with four hydrogen atoms, coaxial overlap. left here with a p orbital on this also two parallel p orbitals standing perpendicularly on the plane of these hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms whenever such two p orbitals are available on adjacent atoms parallelly then overlap of this p orbital takes place p orbital p orbitals which are perpendicularly standing they overlap and encompass the sigma bond. Sigma bond which is concentrated along the line joining the two nuclei is surrounded by pi electron. This encompasses the sigma electron pair. Here again you have two electrons and this also has two electrons. So, the C this uh, sigma and pi together this is known as pi bond sigma uh, pi pi overlap parallelly this is known as sideways overlap. forming a pi bond or pi molecular orbital. 
sigma together with a pi constitutes a double bond in this case c double bond c here the bond length is 1.34 angstrom units 